Well, guys, we're finally to the first week of the SEC football season, and if you're around Baton Rouge like I am, that means you're probably going to be turning your attention to this weekend's matchup between LSU and Mississippi State. Welcome to the first episode of Under Pressure. I'm your host, Chrissy Freud, and in the past, we've seen the Bulldogs use a big running quarterback to power the offense. Think guys like Nick Fitzgerald, Tommy Stevens, Garrett Schrader. But things look a little different now in Mike Leach's air raid offense. Graduate transfer quarterback KJ Costello is who we can expect to see at the helm on Saturday. The signal caller has stolen for over 6,000 yards and his next touchdown pass, well that'll mark his 50th. There's a reason why he earned my preseason vote for the strongest quarterback in the conference and why he's been pinned to the first round of the upcoming draft. At 6 foot 5 and 223 pounds, Costello has an NFL ready frame and his footwork is impressive to be at this stage of his football career. He brings the type of pocket presence, ball placement, accuracy, and poise that you want to see as a coach and a starter. He's already impressed Leach and his teammates with his leadership ability and his consistency. I think his strengths are he's a student of the game, Leach said this week. I think the other thing is he's the same guy every snap. He's not a guy that gets rattled. And so then I think that creates a level of stability with the offense. He's accurate. He can throw it a long ways down the field. And one of the only things Leach has really knocked him for is having what he calls big arm guy disease. Not every pass is going to need that kind of zip on it, and it makes for a ball that's harder for his target to reel in, so they're definitely going to want him to control that a little bit more this week. Costello also isn't a guy that's going to make magic for you outside the pocket, and if we're going to see any real mobility at the position this season for Mississippi State, it's probably going to be because Schrader, who could see action in more of a wide receiver type of role this year, entered the game. It will certainly be interesting to see how Costello performs in his debut for State against Bo Pelini's 4-3 defense. And I'll be back with you next week to preview who will be taking the snaps for Vanderbilt.